What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week we're going to check out an extension from TomTom Tom that allows you to edit different edges within your SketchUp models. Before we get started, I want to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So a big thank you to Salvador Rios, Walter Lafleur, and Blair Pettigrew. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. Um, so one of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you like what I'm doing on this channel, you want to support the show, and also vote on the extension that I cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Edge Tools 2. Plugin developer, TomTom. Tom. Plugin cost? It's free. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. Tool functions. This extension contains a suite of tools designed for doing different things with edges within SketchUp. As with most of TomTom's tools, these seem to be tools that he designed for use himself, then made available as an extension for everyone else. So let's go through some of the different tools contained in this extension. Split faces allows you to split up faces within your model based on the face's edges. This can be especially useful if you're trying to split a face with a line parallel to one of the perimeter edges. One cool function of this feature is that it will split a face on either side of an opening as long as the face is uninterrupted. Inspect and Close Edge Gaps is a very useful tool that analyzes your model and looks for gaps between edges. It will then highlight these gaps within your SketchUp model. From there, you can use the next tool, Close All Edge Gaps, to fill in these gaps. This is massively useful when working with CAD files that you've imported, as often these come in with little gaps that can make working with them very difficult. When using Close All Edge Gaps, setting the tolerance will allow you to adjust how far the extension is willing to go to fill in those gaps. For example, a tolerance of 3 eighths of an inch will fill in all gaps 3 eighths of an inch and smaller. Erase Stray Curve seems to erase curves that don't seem to be part of complete edge loops. If any of you have a more comprehensive description of how exactly this works, feel free to leave a comment below. This seems to be a very simple function. Simplify Curves reduces the number of edges contained in your curves in your model. This can be very useful for shrinking the size of your model, but be careful as it also makes your curves a lot less smooth. Again, this is a very useful tool for working with CAD files, which can come in with thousands of little pieces on your curves that you don't really need. The last set of tools was a bit confusing to me. My understanding of the way they're supposed to work is that they take a series of edges and set them so the vertices align on certain axes, but I kept getting weird results. I think it's probably just user error on my part, and it's probably doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, I will say that having a tool like this is very promising, especially for models where all the vertices are slightly off axis. Um, I could see this being very useful for fixing those, but I'm not 100% clear on exactly how this one works. So if you guys have any information on that, leave a comment down below. That's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this extension. Can you think of some cool uses for some of these tools. I just love having those ske that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.